there's two things that every tour professional does to ensure they pure their irons. In this video, I'm gonna talk you through those two things and provide you with a drill that you can do at the range that will transform your ball striking. Hi there, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I would love it if you would consider subscribing, hitting the like button, dropping a comment below, and pressing that bell notification so you don't miss any future videos that I release. I drop videos like this every single week helping you guys play better golf. So you've clicked on this video because you're trying to improve your ball striking like the rest of us to make sure we hit the middle of the face, we compress the golf ball, we maximize our distance and we play the best golf available. So what are those two things that tour players do? Number one, they hit the middle of the face with all their golf clubs. Now, that's a given, they're the best in the world, but why is it relevant? Well, think about what happens when you miss the center of the face. It costs you yardage, and it does influence the curvature of the golf ball. Let me demonstrate. Middle of the face is the fastest part of the golf club. That will leave the face with the most ball speed. Anywhere dotted around the outside of the middle of the face, you're losing ball speed, hence losing yard, hence losing yardage, sorry. What else does it affect? Well, anywhere you strike the golf ball outside of the sweet spot, let's say it's toe side, heel side, low in the face or high in the face, will influence the spin of the golf ball. More so on a driver, but still is there when you hit iron shots. For example, should I strike the toe of the golf club, the ball will spin to the center, giving you some draw spin, some hook spin. Strike the heel, the ball is gonna spin towards the center, giving you fade spin. Bottom of the face spinning high towards the center, lots of back spin. High on the face, doesn't have top spin, but it has a lot less spin. So the ball will always curve towards the sweet spot. So it's a premium that we hit the middle of the face as many times as possible on a round of golf to maximize our distance control and obviously limit the amount of curvature we put in the golf ball. I'm sure you've all experienced that. Everybody watching this video will probably favor toe strikes or heel strikes or maybe thin strikes. We all have our tendencies. Drop them in the comments below. Let me know what you suffer with more. If we were to lose one mile per hour ball speed off a driver face, we would lose approximately two and a half yards of carry. So you can imagine hitting the golf ball toe or heel, how much ball speed you're losing and how much distance you're actually gonna lose. So the premium is centeredness of strike. I don't think a lot of people appreciate how important it is and we're maybe guilty of working a lot on our golf swing, trying to fix other aspects and not spending enough time, taking enough care at ensuring we can actually hit the middle of the face more often. So that's the first thing that tour professionals do. I know it's a given, it's pretty obvious, but what can you do at the range to work on your strike? What can you do to make sure that you hit the middle of the golf club more often and more regularly to maximize your distance? Very simple little exercise that you can do at the driving range, at home, in the living room, wherever you are watching this, in the back garden. I want you to grab three golf balls. Okay, so we're gonna place the golf ball that we're gonna hit we address the golf ball and we're gonna place one golf ball just outside the toe in line with the golf ball. Second golf ball is gonna go just outside the heel. Now we've got three golf balls on a line. We're going to take the middle ball away. So what we've created is a nice little runway, a little alleyway to help us ensure the club tracks through the center. Now why is that important? Well, if I bring this golf ball back, and I was to make a golf swing, and let's say I'm somebody who is a more heel biased striker of the golf ball. If I was to present the golf club at impact with perhaps a heel strike, you will notice that the toe of the golf club will hit the outer golf ball. If you're the opposite and you're more of a toe strike, you're gonna notice that you're going to interact with that golf ball that's closest to you. So what this is training, and it's a really great exercise because you aren't focused on technique too much, so you're not in your own way. You just have a little external cue here and a little drill to practice swinging through the middle. If you can practice swinging through the middle and you can get the golf balls closer and closer as you go, but if you practice swinging through the middle, you're going to be a better golfer at striking centered of the golf club as opposed to dotted all the way across the face. So how would we do this? We'd set up, we have our alleyway, 
can't stress how slowly we start this, okay? So little small swings, back and through. Just back and through. All I'm focusing on is missing those two golf balls. It's a little quarterback swing, quarter three swing. We don't do this at full speed yet. Eventually we can progress to that. So as I bring that middle golf ball back, and let's hope I don't hit two golf balls in one go, okay? When you're confident, have a couple of practice swings, maybe over the top of the middle golf ball, just ensuring it stays between. Remember, slow swings, let's hope I don't hit two golf balls here. Okay, so I managed to clip the middle one and it felt like it came out of the middle of the face. Now, if we can pr improve that skill, I'm not focusing on, a, on the golf club being in certain areas, I'm not focusing on twisting the golf club, stop being over the top, I'm just focusing on this little exercise that's actually helping me have less swing thoughts and just think about one thing. Do this enough times and I will promise you, because I do this in my own lessons with my own players, Anybody who can do this and spend some time with it starts to improve that heat map of where you hit the golf ball and it will be more centered. As I say, you can bring the balls a little bit closer. I wouldn't suggest you bring it any closer than maybe one finger width from the toe because it's pretty tricky. But if you can do this, I guarantee you, you will control your strike at the middle of the face more often. Okay, so what is the second thing that every tour player does? Every single tour player with their irons will hit the golf ball, then disrupt the grass and the turf after the golf ball. I see a lot of people, it's very, very, very common in golf, for players to get back to the moment of impact having already hit the ground before the golf ball, resulting in maybe a fat shot. Perhaps they don't hit the ground, but they hit the golf ball as it rises and it gets a thin strike, and they really suffer to take any turf after the golf ball. We know from watching the best players in the world that when they hit the golf ball, they hit tur ball, then turf. So the divot will occur after impact. There may be the occasions where they catch it right at the golf ball, but for the most part, it's gonna be after the golf ball. So how do we then take our already centeredness of strike drill and add another element into that to help us ensure that we put the bottom of the swing after the golf ball so we can compress our irons whilst hitting out of the middle of the face. So here's what I want you to do, okay? I have a little Perspex board, which I'm gonna place behind the two golf balls I already have set up. Now you can easily use a towel or something very, very small, very thin, that isn't sitting too high off the ground. The placement of this is very important. If you're practicing with your seven iron, okay? I want you to place that towel or that board, the distance away from your golf ball should be measured out one, two, three golf balls, then your golf ball should be there. So if I've placed that in the correct portion, I have my two golf balls out, I've got my board or my towel, three balls behind, I'm gonna get back into this exercise again and I'm gonna practice some more. So this board is helping me ensure that I have the golf club traveling low through strike and not into a position where I would hit that board. Because when you hit that board, we end up presenting lots more loft. We end up hitting the ground first, or perhaps we may thin the golf ball on the way through. But there's no chance for us then taking that divot after the golf ball. So this is the second thing that tour players do correctly. You've seen enough tour players at the moment of impact to notice the handle ahead of the golf ball and the club low and exiting with that big explosion of turf after the golf ball. This will ensure that we do that also. So let's get back in, make some dry practice swings, and let's notice, can we get the ground in the right place? So if I go, okay, I felt that definitely missed the board. So the club feels like it's nice and low through that gap, as opposed to where I hit the ground too early. So again, centeredness of strike, compression on the golf ball, hitting the ball, then the turf. It's absolutely superb exercise to do whenever you are practicing. And again, it's missing things, it's missing the golf balls, it's missing the tile. You're not really focused on how it happens. In my experience, when, we, when I give this to players, 
people are very intuitive and can just organize their body accordingly in order to do this. It might take some time, you've got to do it slow, but it will be invaluable when it comes to improving not only that compression, but also that centeredness of contact. Okay, the moment you're all waiting for, you're looking for me to hit this, hit two golf balls and one in the machine. So let's hope I don't. Again, practice a little bit through that gap. I'm feeling that club being low after the golf ball, staying away from my tile on my board. Let's see, can I make a small swing and clip one? Yeah, really good strike. Felt the mat turf after the golf ball. Crucially, nothing's been disrupted, so I know I'm improving my skill level at that. When you do this at the start, it may seem difficult. That's why you have to do it slow. But if you can coordinate the moves, your body will begin to intuitively organize itself better because all we're having is a little exercise where we miss some balls and miss a top. But as I say, this will ensure the shaft is ahead, the golf ball is being compressed, but crucially, we're hitting that middle of the face. Do those two things. We're going to maximize the speed the ball leaves the face. We're going to minimize that curvature. We're also going to make sure that we improve the quality of that strike as we're striking a little bit more downwards on the golf ball. So hopefully, this little station that I've made will provide you with the tools to go practice, improve strike, and improve that compression on the golf ball. I've done this with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of my players. It is a very, very good thing to do. And I know if you do it and stay consistent with it, that you'll absolutely transform your ball striking for the better. So if you find this helpful, I'd love it if you would hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you don't miss any future videos. And drop me a comment below. Let me know which ball do you find that you hit more often? Do you struggle missing that tile, that board? Anything I can do to help you further, clarify anything, please drop it in the comments. I'll be happy to jump in there and have a chat with you. So as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.